In this example, we want to find the area of the common interior of r equals 1 plus cosine theta and r equals 3 cosine theta. r equals 1 plus cosine theta is the cardioid curve represented by the solid line here. And r equals 3 cosine theta is the circle represented with the dashed line here. We are interested in finding the area of the region enclosed by both curves. This is the common interior of the cardioid and the circle. In order to find this area, we're going to need to figure out where these curves intersect. So let's set the equations equal to each other and solve. 1 plus cosine theta equals 3 cosine theta. So 1 equals 2 cosine theta or cosine theta equals 1 half. Cosine theta equals 1 half when theta equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Now what's interesting to note is these are intersection points but these are also collision points. Collision points are when we have the same value of r for the same theta. That's what we solve for here. By setting the r's equal to each other and solving for theta, these values of theta have the same value for r. However, there are more intersection points in this example than just two collision points. We can find those by looking at the graph. Here I have an animation with both curves. As they go around, we can see that the points collide when the angle is pi over 3, and then again when we have an angle of 5 pi over 3. Here's the first collision point. Now there's also an intersection point. They intersect at the origin. However, that's not a collision point because each point gets to the origin for a different value of theta. With the blue graph, the circle, r equals 3 cosine theta, it crosses the origin when theta equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. For the red graph, it crosses at pi and it only hits it once. So for different values of theta, we have the same r. In this case, it will be simplest to find the area of half of the region and double it. So we'll focus on the top half of the shaded area here. Our first intersection point is at pi over 3. So what will happen is as we integrate, we'll need to start with the first curve, the cardioid and then that will integrate till we reach pi over 3. At pi over 3, to continue within our region, we have to change curves. So now we would be integrating the circle as we go down to the end of the region. But let's review what these angles will be as we go through that. So here we have an angle of 0. This is coming out on the x-axis. Starting at 0, we will integrate the cardioid all the way to pi over 3. Then at pi over 3, we will continue with 3 cosine theta. But notice what the ending point is. It's the origin. And there were several points that hit at the origin. In this case, we're going to use pi over 2 because at pi over 2, that's when the circle hits the origin. Let's mark our graph here to help illustrate our plan. So the intersection is pi over 3. Then we're going to shade in the graph. I like to shade in the regions using polar shading, kind of following the idea of how this will work out. We know that this will start when theta equals 0 and then end at pi over 3. But now we have to change curves. We'll begin from pi over 3 and then continue calculating the area 
until we get to pi over 2. So for the circle, that's when we hit the origin. But note, we hit the origin for the cardioid when theta equals pi. So you have to pay attention to which curve hits the intersection point for which values of theta. Let's write out our plan. So in this example, we're going to find the area to be 2 times the area of 1 plus cosine theta as theta goes from 0 to pi over 3. Then we need to add the area of 3 cosine theta as theta goes from pi over 3 to pi over 2. So it's important to make notes of what the plan is going to be so it's easier to set up the integral and communicate your process. So we have 2 times, again using our formula, 1 half the integral from alpha to beta, in this case 0 to pi over 3, of f of theta squared d theta. 1 plus cosine of theta squared d theta plus 1 half the integral from pi over 3 to pi over 2, but now we're switching to the other curve. 3 cosine theta quantity squared d theta. So the first integral represents the area I've illustrated in red. The second integral represents the area I've illustrated in blue. So the 2 and the 1 halves will cancel out. Note that we have 1 plus cosine theta squared. That'll become 1 plus 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared theta. You will also have a cosine squared theta for the second integral. These will need the half angle formula that cosine squared theta equals 1 half times a quantity, 1 plus cosine 2 theta. See if you can work this integral out on your own. The answer is 5 pi over 4. This includes the entire interior that we're looking for. Remember, we already accounted for the 2 when we set up our plan. Don't forget to make sure that you actually found the entire area that you're looking for.